Hello everybody, it's Dr. Bob Weiss. This is my iMac at home. I hope I'll be successful in showing you how to log on. The first step is to go to your App Store and in the search type in remote and what you want to download is Microsoft Remote Desktop Business. I've already downloaded it so I'm just going to open it and we're just going to then minimize that so it comes down into your taskbar. Now many of you will have another remote desktop connection that's default. Just leave that alone for now. So the next step is going to be uh, going to Safari it's not easy to do this, so bear with me. And we're going to type in the URL space ng dot whoops cwpw dot org, and we're going to see the familiar Intelligent home screen. We're going to cl click on TS Prod, and I hope you saw that that was downloaded right into the download section here well I think I just lost it let me try that again and you see it goes down here the next step would be to go to finder and we're going to take finder and we're going to click on downloads I've downloaded this several times, so just ignore that. So all of these are the same download. So we'll take the original one, and we're going to right-click on that, and open with, that's the key thing, the newly downloaded Microsoft Remote Desktop. We're going to click there. And lo and behold, we now have a place to put our Intelligent credentials in and we have initializing that's good so I'm gonna put my credentials in sorry about that again trying to do this with two hands when I need three okay and we're gonna go to connecting I'm gonna pull back a little bit Connecting RDP, as you can see, and in a second or two, we should see the Itelligen Next Gen desktop if all goes according to plan. And here we go. And you should be in business at this point. You could then go ahead and Click on your next gen icon and you're all set to go. Hope you enjoyed this little video.